1.5 degrees Celsius. That was the number set down in the Paris Agreement in 2015 for how much we could let the temperature of our planet rise before reaching a catastrophic tipping point. In April this year, the United Nations IPCC published their report on how we were doing towards this goal. The answer? Not great. But there is a path towards sustainability. Hello, and welcome to Conversations on Climate. My name is Chris Caldwell, and this series is produced by United Renewables in collaboration with the London Business School Alumni Energy Club. We sit down with experts who are trying to solve the biggest challenge of our time before time runs out. I think to be um, efficient in the energy space, everyone needs to focus on what they do best. I have I've seen quite a bit of the, of the sector in, in this side of the world, and it's been really a roller coaster. The scope of the challenge before us is well beyond the scope of any one person or indeed any one solution. It's going to take efforts across all parts of our societies and economies, from finance to food, planning to politics. In this season of podcasts, I'm going to be speaking to some of the leading thinkers from within the London Business School community to find out where our hopes for the future may lie principles that underpin how knowledge develops, builds all of this around us, has built the phone, has built the camera, has built uh, the ability that we have to live in unprecedented quality of life. I'm helping um, reduce the carbon dioxide emission in buildings by helping reduce the energy consumption through technology. Over the coming months, we're going to release a new interview every two weeks in conversation with a global expert in the field discussing big ideas for solving big problems. In my opinion, presents really relevant businesses for today which solve a genuine problem. Government relations people, if there is one topic they find really challenging to make decisions on and constantly uh, have discussions about, it's the metrics. Energy reduction or carbon dioxide reduction um, that has been an exciting space for me to be in. Our first conversation will be with Professor Michael Jacobides, a leading thinker on strategies and ecosystems. It also has allowed us to be much better in tackling problems that we have, if we follow it. This episode will set the scene of what a collaborative effort to solve climate change might look like. In the meantime, please subscribe on your app of choice to keep up with our new releases. I do hope that you enjoy listening to them as much as I enjoyed making them. These are conversations that you just can't afford to miss.